All right, so number 10. What would be the product of the following substitution reaction? All right, so I have this 1-bromo-2,2-dimethylhexane molecule. And I'm treating it with um, methanol. So what we have going on here is we have a weak base. Solvolysis. We also have a hysterically hindered second degree substrate on hexane ring. Right? This bromine is stark is pretty starkly hindered on the hexane ring. So this is going to be an SN1 reaction. So what's going to happen is the bromine is just going to leave by itself um, in, the, in the methanol. And that's going to leave us with, this is a second degree carbocation, right? And what's going to happen, one of these methyl groups is going to come up here. We're going to get methanide shift. to create more stable third degree carbocation, right? So once we get that methanide shift, the carbocation moves right here, and this is third degree carbocation. One, two, three plus our meth methyl out, um, methanol. So the oxygen is going to attack the positive carbon, and we're going to get left with right here we have a hydrogen, the whole methyl, methanol, the whole methanol is attached and the carbon the oxygen becomes positive because it's attached to three things but there's more methanol hanging around that can deprotonate it can take that hydrogen off and that hydrogen gives its bond its uh, two electrons from the bond to oxygen right so that's deprotonation so after deprotonation we got the final molecule which looks like this. 